And you see, when they comb it, a lot of time it looks like it's going to be sharp, these little pills in here. But that's just part of the combing deal. Ooh, this is fine. Ooh, this is fine. But see the dandruff? But we haven't had a finer fleece out of the 110 here. Have we? I don't know. I mean, I don't know about finer, but it seems to me we've had a lot that have been this stunning quality. Yeah, this we've had a lot of fine this hair. This is an older animal. Mm -hmm. But this is amazing. Now, you see right here at the tip, it's a little straight on the end. But for an aged buck to be that fine, and this is why it's so important. When you get this information back, and we criticize the way it showed up in the bag here, but we can all see the fineness in the style, and you know the background back home, and maybe keep some records earlier. See, he's got just six ounces. Now then, Let's see if we can get some length out of here. It's going to be hard to get some length out because of the, the matting. It's hit right at an inch and a quarter. Mine was a little longer, so try some more. But see, a lot of time you as the owner will ignore that shard and keep looking for a long piece. And I don't think this is Wendy's goat. I don't think that's Wendy's. It isn't mine. <laughs> I had one bucket and he went by a long time ago. Yeah, that's just about an inch. And this is what Wendy was talking about. It's longer. See, that's two and a quarter inches. Okay. But fine, plus, plus, excellent style. Okay. The staple length's not as uniform, so we're going to put down overall uniformity. It is good minus. All right. The differentiation with the black fiber is usually not as good. Today we did have one buck fleece that had good black fiber differentiation. And this is average plus this is good differentiation when do you might say that's good it is I mean, there's some variability in it but it's got lots of good okay we'll put down here average plus and good yeah. extra guard hair Uh, dandruff and here again on the dandruff it may not be to your trace mineral or the soil deficiencies in your what you're feeding or having the pasture but sometimes a deficiency of zinc causes dandruff and so it's better to use chelated trace minerals or the sulfates except when you see on the mineral tag it says magnesium oxide that is digested well but the oxides cost less, so a lot of the feed companies put the oxides in there on the trace minerals. They'll say ferrous oxide. That just turns it red. Most people aren't deficient in iron. But uh, I want to encourage you to learn more about your soil biology and chemistry. And selenium is, is, is deficient in some areas. There's been some research work done at the USDA 
sheep center in Boise, Idaho, where they were feeding selenium in the feed and getting tremendous results. Sometimes a selenium injection will help bef before the pregnant nanny has her kid. So you need to learn more from your local uh, suppliers or the county agent. Do you have some deficiencies in your area? Okay. A rough fleece with extra guard hair and dandruff, but we appreciate such fineness in style with adequate longer fiber than it appears. Study his fleece scores soon this year on the neck, side, and bridge. All right, we will. That's the last one in this class. All right, this one has an age buck, has two and a half ounces. But you can see why they kept this buck over the years or, or got him for their program. This is another one with beautiful, with great fineness and, and style. It's just amazing. Ancient seven eighths. Last buck, please, and you got to do weathers. Think about mm -hmm. it. Are there certain classes that I guess commercially probably produce better? Is it like the weathers that will produce better wool than for fiber? Oh, yeah. I don't know much about weathers because I haven't have only got one, and he's a retired buck, so I don't know. <laughs> Aren't all weathers? <laughs> well, he's retired as a breeding buck. How, how do I say right. He didn't have a choice in the matter. He was going to stick around. He, he, heard, was gonna he, heard his, he had a tooth injury. Oh. And he couldn't compete. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. In the middle of the place. It's fine. Oh. Yeah. One and a half inches. Oh, dear. Oh, not this piece. <laughs> what are you seeing, Wendy? I'm seeing two and a half to three in this little hump. Okay. Take a look. If I'm wrong, I'm not surprised if I'm wrong at this point in the day. Is it still shorter? It stopped there at about two. Two. Before it came apart. Now the differentiation is not good, is it? I mean, it's just medium. Okay. All right. The. But the style and the fineness are consistent, aren't they? Yeah, they're very consistent. But they're not super fine. I, I didn't think. Well, or look at this one. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm going to put fine plus anyway. Okay. But good. When he's 
discuss with Peter when he judges the police competition. He utilizes a wonderful medical um, oh, gadget that he puts uh, uh, around his. Uh, it's, it's a huge a magnifier. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> only he can get them. I looked in them; they're phenomenally expensive. Are they? <laughs> yeah, they are. He must. He, he, <laughs> He Peter doesn't ever look at what something. anything costs. It says why so we're broke. It's incredibly expensive, but, but they <laughs> are incredible. Um, so it magnifies everything hugely. Yeah. So it's a it's just what he uses if he's looking at somebody's cut and he's cleaning it or going to stitch somebody or something. Exactly. And I use them, and I can, I have trouble no, adapting this is a medical, to medical uh, doctor's yeah. device. Yeah, that's that that goes over his whole right, right, right around his whole yeah. thing. It looks like he's yeah. wearing a uh, goggle, yeah. and it's uh, brilliant because he can see so much better. The rest of us. He struggled with the thought of even having to wear glasses, so that's neat. Yeah, he's worn glasses all his life, so for him to wear something, you know, it's... He's used to it. Yeah. You feeling more confident, more full of information? Oh, yes, a, a bit more. Good. I mean, I'm still... How about you? <laughs> the key to it is to go back home this week and start writing down. You, you categorize your goals sooner the better because all this stuff is floating around in your head and it, if you're like me it will dissipate a little bit um, as one gets older one remembers less. So if you put it to work and it sort of solidifies it. I think identifying the fineness is a lot I think more, the thing to, uh, takes a lot um, more time. Okay, now I got a side show. Well, it's, well, it's well relative. Yeah, yeah we're the crinkle are those that ones we've no, well not yet. Well, those that. are weathers. Yeah, we got to do these three, don't yeah. we? And then you got to go do Champion Buff, or do you want to just get the weathers done first? We can get the weathers done first, can't we? All right, now here again, we're going to end up placing these fleeces with the heavier one winning first, and the next one in the middle being second. But it's not just because of the volume. Uh, as we Look at our first place fleece, which shared nine ounces, but had excessive, all of them had excessive guard hair and either some matted fiber or, uh, so all of them's true ounce weight would be reduced. And then all of them had what we thought fine hair. These are older bucks, had fine hair in excellent to good style and all of them had adequate length, which is which is unusual. The the third place goats differentiation in the guard fire, guard hair was low, just medium. The first and second place fleeces had good to good minus differentiation scores. Uh, and they all had extra, extra guard hair. What was impressive about this class is at their age to have such fine hair with good style and adequate length. Mm -hmm. These are the senior boys. One, two, three. One, two. Be done with us. Yeah. We can. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do the... Last is the weathers. Scream it on down the butt. There we go. A lot of it there. Oh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I do this? What does that say? One pound and two ounces? That's what it says. Mm -hmm. Eighteen ounces. Okay, can you see the size of this? So that partly answers your, Kurt, your question. This this weather has continued to grow, but all of his energy can go into production of fiber. And usually a weather will not make you money compared to a, a doe that can raise kids in fiber too. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it, you just got too many producing does and you want to keep the goats out there for brush control and to get the fiber. Mm -hmm. 
So the weathers have their place. Who here has weathers? What's that? Jenny has a weather. I have a weather. I have two I have weathers. One. I have one. I have a couple. Right? And Wendy has one. And you have a couple. What do you use your weathers for? Well, my weather is the squire of the doe herd. And so when they're in heat, they rub on him. And it helps me if it's someone in some of my does have a silent heat. They don't really let me know. And I'm trying to not separate out because I don't have the, I'm not set up properly mm. to have a bunch of different pastures. Did you get this? I'm bringing them out. I do, thank you. Okay. So I bring them to the buck or the buck. I separate them into one pen for a few hours. So it helps if I know if they're in heat. Especially with the guys in the See if I can find them. Okay. How are, we, how are you going to write this? I'd say the style's fair. It doesn't seem to be. What's that? The style is fair. It's not. Yeah, that's it, the style is fair. That's a good observation. Yes. Come on. Whatever. Nah. <laughs> what do you think about it? Well, I think it. I think it's 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 not as fine as what we've seen. Yes. Good. That's correct. Marianne. It's it's nice and long. It's got yeah, good no, length. No. Look at that. It does of, seem like it's long. Lots of length. And it isn't as crimpy as it might right. be. Yeah. Lots of length, not as fine. And I guess it's a little heavier than it ought to be, right? Three and, at least three and a quarter inches. Well, I mean, not as yep. fine, right? Like the, and for its yep. length, I think it's quite oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. The length is great, and it's medium fineness. Yeah. Maybe even medium minus. Yeah. Okay. The style is is, is it's pretty average. Yeah, pretty average. nice. Though. Are these? I'd be happy. Are these average medium? minus? I just want to know if those are tertiary fibers okay. or guard hairs. Look up. Oh, yeah. Uh, those to me are just guard hairs. Now yeah, there there's some. That's why we gave it a low style. There's some oh, poor some style good. fibers in there. Oh. That look, but this fleece, if you were making socks, <laughs> yeah. this fleece yeah. is the most valuable fleece in the contest because it's 18 ounces of usable fiber. And it's well combed. I mean, it's yeah, there's not much guard hair in it, relatively speaking. And, and you blend that with some fine merino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just tried that with some. That's kind of, that's yeah. like that. Not yeah. even that nice. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Lots of stuff. I use so, feathers uh, in my herd to a big kind of protect um, the little kids mm -hmm. when I'm putting them in a the backfield that I can't keep an eye on with. Um, they also, you know, they know the ropes, so they're very, they're, they're, the good use for them is to teach other goats where to go and what to do. With, no kidding. You know, they're, they're so they silly. protect them? Yeah. yeah. From dogs yeah. or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of like my guard dogs. Wow. Um, yeah. And um, oh, I, like I also just use them, uh, so I move them around. They'll be with kid does, they'll be with kid bucks even. Because um, those are the crazy kind of times uh, in the first six to nine months when I want to kind of get them used to the routines of the farm. Yeah. Yeah, then we want to mention here. I keep with my bucks, and it's sort of. Uh, calms down the buck field. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I keep older weathers with mutts. Calms down. Mm -hmm. And we're hearing comments about how the weathers, the muttons, are, can be a good chaperone and, and protector and leader in the flock. And if you have one like this, the the with the volume of fiber, even though it's not of what you call the highest quality, is serving a double purpose. One thing we want to point out here that we've seen in other fleeces, live and I mean other goats and, and their fleeces, is since there's not much guard hair, we have at the tip this brown brown hair. We call brown weathered tip or tippy hair, and if it breaks off, so that three and a quarter inch hair isn't quite that long, and if it doesn't fall off in the 
dehairing and the scouring and the dyeing process, then it shows up as pilling in your yarn and your finished product. So here again, it, this is a demonstration of how we would like, why we want some guard hair to protect the fiber. But this is a money maker. Okay. a money maker for blending with wool. Great clean volume of, of 17 micron down with low style. Now this next weather has 2.3 ounces. We got to save this owner a little bit of hair. <laughs> <laughs> so so we're going to put it back in here. <laughs> yeah, we will. Okay. What's your comment? 